Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic, and in this one I'm going to talk about decoders. Now what is a decoder? A decoder is something that takes n inputs and selects one of, one of two to the n outputs. So you could have a uh, two input decoder and it would select one of four outputs. Or you could have a three input decoder and it would select one of eight, eight outputs. All right, let's take a look at how these work internally. Inside of the decoder for every input, and I'm going to draw a uh, two input decoder. So actually I'm going to call this A0 and A1. So this is the least significant bit coming in, and this is your most significant bit. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to have an inverted and a non-inverted input. And this isn't the most efficient way to draw it, but it's how I'm going to do it, and it should be pretty clear. All right, a decoder is really just a bunch of AND gates. So if I am looking to decode the value 0, uh, where A is 0 and A1 is 0, I'm just going to look for A bar, uh, a1 bar, A0 bar. Okay, and if I'm going to decode the value 1, that would be a 1 coming in here and a 0 coming in here. So, I've got that one. And if I'm going to decode 2, this one needs to be high, this one low. So, I'm taking this one and this one. And finally, for three, they both need to be high, and so I'm going to take this one and this one. Now there's one other input that you'll often find on a decoder, and that is at least one enable input. And so if I have enable here, if I have it low, then none of these should ever uh, go high, no matter what these are doing. And if I have it high, then these should reflect the input. And so all I would do for that is I just run another input into these AND gates. And so that is a two input decoder. A three input decoder just has more AND gates and a little bit more wiring. Okay, now you might ask, why the heck would this be useful? All right, well, let's say that you are uh, controlling, well, actually from a project that I did. Let's say you have an array of LEDs, and you want to select only one of the rows of LEDs. You might use a de decoder, and in my case, I had eight rows, and I needed to select one of eight rows. So and I just happen to be out of uh, output lines on my uh, processor, and so I used a decoder for that. Um, another reason that you might use a decoder is if you wanted to implement any logic function, uh, and you didn't just happen to have chips that did that. So let's take a look at, uh, I'm going to make a log, uh, truth table here, and I'm going to have a three input uh, truth table, and here's my out. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. Now let's say I had a function that was like, like that. Now 
I could do my whole Karna map and, and figure out uh, a very simple logic function or, uh, well, Boolean logic expression that I could then turn into gates. But maybe I'm feeling lazy. Maybe I don't uh, have the right gates for that. For whatever reason, this isn't the most efficient way to do it, but it will work. Um, I could have my three input uh, decoder, and here are my eight outputs. Uh, four, set, eight. Yep. Okay. And so for zero, pretty much I'm going to have a, a major OR gate here. And one, and that one, and this one. And there we go. I've implemented with a three by eight decoder and a four input OR gate uh, this. Now, let's say that I actually, I wanted to get another function from the same inputs. Well, I could just add another OR gate and there we go. Now I've got another function. So um, how this might be useful? Well, let's say that actually this is a 4 by 6, yeah, 4 by 16 uh, uh, decoder. Then I could implement a uh, binary to 7 segment uh, decoder. And so I could drive a 7 segment display that looks like that, and I could display the number uh, that I'm putting in here in binary as a something that we can read as humans. Uh, okay, now that's cool. What if I only have four input decoders? Or uh, four output, two by four. Okay, so let's say this is A and this is B, and this is a four output. I'm going to run A and B in there. Then I'm just going to have a second one. And I'm going to run A and B down here too. Well, at this point, I get the same output out of both of these uh, based on A and B. And I still don't have C in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take C and run it into an enable line for this one. And uh, I'm going to run it through an inverter over to this guy. And so uh, I probably should have put the inverter on this one. But in any case, uh, by <laughs> applying my binary number here, I can select one of these uh, at a given time using uh, four output decoders instead of an eight output decoder. And I could string, using increasingly complex logic over here, I could continue to make, say, 16 outputs. But uh, then you're starting to become really inefficient. So anyway, that was decoders. And uh, hopefully you learned something from this. And if you found this useful, check out my YouTube channel. I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com.